everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Shannon. Today I have um, a recipe for you. I'm going to show you how I make sourdough bread. Um, I've had a request for this bread and so I thought I would just do a video showing how I make it and how simple it actually is. So I have my mixer bowl here. It's got my bread hook in it, my dough hook. And I'm going to put everything into my bowl and then I'm going to move it over to the mixer for it to mix. So the first thing I'm going to put in, I have two cups here of warm water and a third of a cup of oil. You dump it in. Then the next thing I'm going to add is a tablespoon of salt. And I'm just going to measure it in my hand. I'm not too precise with that. Next I'm going to put in um, six and a half cups of flour. You can use anywhere from six to six and a half depending on um, how your dough looks. I've made this several times before and I know that six and a half cups is what I need. I've got three and a half cups of fresh ground flour and I've got three cups of white flour. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to put in here is one cup of sourdough starter. This is my sourdough starter. I don't know if you can see. If you could smell it, you would see it smells sourdoughy. And I'm just going to add one cup of this and then I'll feed it after I get done. It's runny. It is runny. mixer and let it mix for seven to ten minutes. Okay, my dough is done mixing. Um, while it was mixing, I went ahead and sprayed my bowl with some spray oil. And I'm going to take the dough out of here and just put it into this bowl. Your dough should be soft but not sticky. I think mine's a little bit sticky, but it should be all right. Pull it out of there. Okay, so my dough is in my bowl. I'm going to take it and just roll it a little bit and get oil on all sides of it. So as it raises, it doesn't get um, too sticky or stick to the sides of the bowl. And I'm going to put this into my oven with the light on only and I'm going to let it rise with this lid on it for about two hours and then I'll come back and check it after two hours is up. Okay, my um, dough is done raising for the first time. You can see it's about double in size. It's actually been in there for longer than two hours because the timer beeped right at lunchtime. So I just left it in there. I'm going to flip it over here now and split it into three different sections and then I'm going to put them into the loaf pans. Can I, Mom? Hang on. Hang on. Wait till I'm done, okay? Come on. Come on. Come Oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> pan and so it looks about like this 
don't know if you can see that. And then I'll put it back in the oven with the light on for it to rise. Can I cut it And I do not worry a whole lot about how they look. Um, I try to make the top side smooth. And I don't worry too much about getting them exactly even. This one is a little bit smaller. This one's obviously the bigger one. So I'm going to take that and put it in my pan and let it rise. So here's my three pans. And I'll put these back in the oven with just the light on. And um, that let them rise for another hour or so until I feel like they're the right size, till they're about double in size. And then um, I'll show you what I do from there. All right, I don't know how long it's been. I think it's been like an hour and a half or two hours. I've been outside um, watching baby chicks and uh, filling up our swimming pool for our duckies. So um, my bread is about double in size. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Then I'm going to leave it in the oven. I'm going to turn the oven to 400 degrees. And I'm going to bake my bread for 25 to 30 minutes. Um, and then check it and see how it looks. Sometimes I will put, you know, like a slash or a line down the middle of my bread. I'm not going to do that this time. Last time I did it, it kind of like deflated. I should have done it like when I first put it in the oven. Um, so that when it rose, it could stretch out instead of trying to cut into the dough when it's already raised. So, here's my dough. It's looking pretty good. Raised up quite a bit. They're definitely doubled in size. Um, you can see I didn't cut very straight. That always happens to me. I'm not good at measuring out evenly. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those in there. Turn my oven on 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. And then I'll come back and check them. Okay, my timer beeped. Um, my, they weren't quite done after the first 30 minutes, so I added another five minutes and then another five minutes, so about 40 minutes total. And I'm gonna pull them out and show you how they look. Ooh, mm -hmm. those look so good. They puffed up really nice. They're nice and round on the top. And they actually grew a little bit more um, once I turned the oven on they raised up a little bit more okay here they are in the pan still but you can see they raised up really nicely all of them just about made it to the top of the pan um, this one's a little bit smaller but that's because it was less dough but they look delicious I'm gonna um, let them sit for just a minute while I get my cooling rack out then I'll dump them on my cooling rack and let them cool my bread cool on its side that keeps the top from sinking if it's going to sink at all um, and from getting squished so just make some keeps them looking prettier you can see these spots here and this one here and this one here if I would have put a slice in the top of my bread you know a few slices this way or one this way um, this side part here probably would not have happened because it would have been able to expand out the top instead of pushing the side up. But that's okay, these don't look too bad. And they smell delicious. 
So I'm gonna let them cool for a little while. I am not going to cut them yet. I'm actually gonna put a towel over the top of them while they cool to trap in some of the moisture so they don't dry out too much. And then after they've cooled down for probably, I don't know, we may have some for dinner tonight and we may not, um, we'll see, but I'll give them probably a good hour to cool before we cut through them. And that way we don't just squish them down when we cut them. <laughs> I'm just gonna tuck this down in here to get it covered. And that should, this is just a flour sack towel. I like to use them in my kitchen. So I just got that tucked in and around there and now we'll just leave it to cool for about an hour. Okay, um, it's the next day after I let my bread cool overnight. Um, I let it cool under the towel for several hours and then I put it into a plastic bag and put it on top of the fridge. I'm going to cut a few slices off now um, and have a couple for some breakfast this morning. bread in the past it's not so soft after it sits overnight but it's still squishy the crust is nice and um, crunchy and then the bread on the inside is really squishy and soft and you can see all the air bubbles in there it rolls really nice and it's gonna taste delicious all right I hope that was helpful for you um, seeing my whole process of making my sourdough bread if you have any questions please leave them down in the comments below uh, thanks for watching today. Make sure you hit your subscribe button for more videos in the future and give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye.